Danny was in 1631. British for the sea. A Trinity commentary. We see for merchant. We see for sleep too. The British for the sea in them. Oh, do not dash from the mobile. A cool. What he taught him. For British for the sea. And a dash from me. What was the sense? The sign C. It's all queen on B. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ifia Kimura here. And if you're already here, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm taking you to a fort in the central region, somewhere in Abanze, named the Fort Amsterdam. Yeah, I've never been here before. I don't know what this fort is about. So, together with you, let's go and just listen to the history ourselves so let's get right into the video i was climbing a hill that's why i'm panting it's on the hilltop so let's go abanzi is a town in the central region of ghana it's on the Accra Makesim cape coast highway a town in between anomabo and komante So here we are, you are entering Fort Amsterdam, tourist site Abanzi in the central region of Ghana. The entrance fee is here, it skipped me. I went there, the tour guys here should come and then check it again. So these are the entrance fee. Lower and upper primary two cities, JHS, Church, Tertiary, Ghanaian adults, 10 cities. So that means I'm going to pay 10 cities. Fort Amsterdam was built in 1631 by the British. It was first named Comantine. Comantine is an English word. It's a term for enslaved people from the Akan ethnic group. It was first built for merchant purpose. In 1664, the Dutch took over the fort from the British. They rebuilt it and named it Fort Amsterdam, and they used it for slave trade. That was 1664. 1664, and uh, the uh, Dutch for not taking over, not to need for Fort Amsterdam. Okay. <laughs> Dutch for no, the, or the years slave trade, but British for no, the one fine years slave trade, no a merchant. Ma, you must wait, 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 double, double. Oh, okay. But very white. That is a geese pawn. Geese are bed like animals which are believed to be vigilant and protective. They sense danger and often sound alarm when there is danger. Uh, oh, it's a very special fault because. This fort is the smallest among all, but it is also the special fort because it is the only fort that can be sighted along the coastal highway. Which is from Oran or San Kamon or the back. Oban or Ban Fool attack. You know, we took Portuguese and Danish and German for one way to slip to the country and we'll drive it going down. According to my intel, it is the first fort built by the English in Africa. The whole Africa. Yes. And now the fort. I'm telling you, this is the only fort. Okay, the fort, for first fort we see in Africa. The fort was abandoned for so many years until 1951 when Ghana Museum and Monument Board took over to restore the room. But it was abandoned again and until recently, just 2019, when the same Ghana Museum and Monument Board, together with Ghana Tourism Authority, took over, restored the room, and now it's under the management of Mr. Joseph Kofi Kakraba, who is doing his possible best to put this fort on the map again. As you can see, part of the fort has been destroyed because it wasn't in use for so many years. But it's now under 
renovation though it can't get back to its original stage but at least it will be in a good shape to attract more tourists all over the world Okay. 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 The occupation life of the fort came to an end when it was heavily attacked by the people of Anomabo in 1811 in revenge for an attack on the English. Who were their long time allies and as i said it remained abandoned till 1951. The fort was in two floors. That was the ground floor and the first floor. It was a beautiful small fort, nicely designed, as you can see on the board. What I love about uh, this fort is that it is in its original state. Like, what I mean is the bricks, what was used to build this fort was exposed you can see it direct it wasn't painted you can see the original uh, materials used that was used to build this fort and it makes it so unique even though parts of it has been ruined and destroyed these white guys these europeans were their own self enemies so they were fighting themselves they were protecting themselves from other people that's their own people just not to take over what they have because it was all of fighting fight and then take over so all the time you have to stay guard just to protect yourself that you won't be overthrown by another brother <laughs> No, 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 The coastal areas of Ghana are full of castles and forts and if you happen to visit Ghana or if you are in Ghana and you are a traveler, you can add Fort Amsterdam to your list. Save this, share and thank me later. So guys, that's Fort Amsterdam, one of the forts uh, on the coastal areas of Ghana. That's a story and thank you so much for watching the video. Until meet again in my next video is a girl if you are Kimura here. Love you and bye bye.